In chapter 26 of To Kill a Mockingbird, school begins and the children find themselves passing the Radley house again. Scout, now in third grade, is ashamed they plotted to get Boo out of the house in previous summers. Imagining it probably tormented him. In school, Scout's class has a weekly current events assignment. One day, Cecil Jacobs brings an article on Hitler's persecution of the Jews. When Cecil finishes, someone asks how Hitler can get away with that. Ms. Gates responds with a lecture on the difference between dictatorships and democracy. She remarks that in democracies like the United States, persecution is not allowed. Scout carries the conversation home with her, questioning both Atticus and then Jem. Examining the idea of hate and persecution, she finally gets around to her question. She recalls hearing Ms. Gates at the courthouse steps declare it was time someone taught them a lesson and something about how black people were getting too above themselves. She asks Jem how Ms. Gates can hate Hitler so much for what he does to the Jews, people half a world away, yet treat people she knows here at home so poorly. Jem, still angry about the court's decision, refuses to talk about it. Now in third grade, Scout has evolved noticeably. She understands the concept of persecution, but is perplexed that Ms. Gates says one thing at Tom's trial and another about the discussion on Hitler. She puzzles over how it can be considered wrong to persecute one group, but think it's okay to persecute another. Recognizing that Jem may have grown up thoughts on this, she turns to him for insight and is further confused when her question enrages him. This chapter weaves Boo Radley back into the story, describing how Scout now refers to him by his real name, Arthur. Scout feels ashamed about her role in plotting to get Boo Radley to come outside, continuing to follow Atticus's advice about walking in another person's shoes.